Hey guys, really excited to bring you this video. I really wanted to put this out this week because earlier uh, I presented to you uh, a template with a video instruction on how to use Pushbullet with Integromod to send push notifications from Silverbots. But now we kind of simplified the thing, uh, the whole push notification thing with just an external request using a different service, uh, but it's also more cost, cost effective. So the service we are using, and uh, let me grab it for you, is this one, Pushover. So Pushover is a really easy to use service. Basically, the only thing we need to do is build an external request and then we can connect with this. The best part of this is you only have to pay, and let us go to the pricing so you can see it. You only have to pay just $5 one-time purchase on each platform you want to use it on. So if it, whether it's an iPhone or an iPad, so iOS or an Android or a desktop computer. And you only buy it for $5 for each platform. And then you get 7,500 messengers per month for free. So that's a lot, right? And we have a way to increase that even more. So basically all the push notification you will ever need can go through this platform. So how does it work? Um, if we take a look inside the flow, I've just built a simple example for, uh, for this purpose, for this video, I just ask a question, then want to send a push notification. And the only thing you need from Pushover is the app token, the user token, and the message. And the sound of the alert is optional, but I also included this because it's kind of fun to play around with that. Um, but this is the base URL. So api.pushover.net slash one messages.json. Then we have the token for the app. So we are going to create an application and we will get a token from that. And as soon as you register it, for an account on any kind of platform, you will get a user token. And that user token is to identify the specific user on a specific device. And then of course we have the message itself. So what does the message contain? And that will go inside of this. So each of this thing I highlight will be replaced with its uh, value. So the key will be token. And that and the value will be the app token for the user that's the key and the user token that's the value and then for message that's the key and then the message containing the question for example in this case that contains the value and of course you can play around with the sound so the overview is pretty simple so if we uh, if you download it uh, push over to your mobile phone like i have you will eventually create an account and you can see your account right here. I have my user key here on the top right corner. So that's my user key. And I also provided an application. I created one. So that's just Mark Vendemade chatbot. So if we go inside, I can also edit or delete the application. So if I want to make a change, so, so actually misspelled it. So let's do that. You can also provide a new icon for your application and that will show on the user's phone. If you're done, you, you can just save the changes. And once you created your application, you will get your API token. So this, this is your application token. So basically you got all the information except for the message variable. So how does this work? How does this URL, uh, how is this URL being built? It's being built by using the API. And if we take a look, you will see that the base URL, and uh, basically the API URL, uh, is api.pushover.net slash one slash messages.json. So if we take a look, basically this entire first section is the base URL of the API. And on top of that, we can add certain variables. If we take a look, the token that's required that's your application token. So that's the thing we inserted as well. So we're going to add a question mark, then a token. So that's the key. And then the application token will be the value. If we take another look 
we see also see the user is required and that's the user token so that's this part so we're going to add the end uh, sign and then user is user token and if we take another look we have the message and the message is also required so we need to add that in as well otherwise we cannot send a push notification so we're going to go with the add sign again and then message is the key and then equals the message we want to send and on top of that you can play around with some optional parameters as well parameters uh, as you can see you can uh, do an attachment uh, you can uh, play around with the device the title url url title priority sound and timestamp most of these i won't use but i did use these sounds so you can press two sounds from here and you will get to the notification sounds and i don't know if you hear it but my sound has been disabled otherwise i would hear an echo during the recording but if you press this uh, speaker uh, icon, you, could, you should hear a few sounds. And a cash register, a fun, a fun thing to use and using a push notification and a new order comes in, right? You love to hear that. Uh, you also have classical. Uh, what else do you have? A magic, a mechanical, a piano bar. and a tugboat so you can play around with this and the way this works is the variable is sound so the sound variable is the key and then it equals whatever sound you want to do so if you want to do cosmic you would go with cosmic instead of game lan so game lan is the one i have currently that's this one So that's a, a little bit of a basic one, but that's enough for me, just in this case, for an admin notification. And that's the one I use. So this is how the API has been built. You start with the uh, you start with the base URL, this one, and then you add values to them. So if we take a look inside the external request, that's the only thing you need to set up is you're going to replace the app token with the app token you have inside of your own uh, let me see let's go to home with the app token you have on your application and then for the user token so user equals user token your user token on desktop at least will contain when logged in you will see them here and then the message can be a variable so for this message variable if we take a look we can also use a custom field and then as la lastly we have the sound and the sound will contain the sp specific sound you want your mobile to uh, to notify you so if you are going to test this out i'm going to fill my uh, tokens in and then we're going to test this uh, notification out i will also share my phone screen So I just pulled up my phone, and uh, so you can watch how it works. And let's publish this flow for it, just to be certain. So I just pulled up my phone, so you can uh, see that as well, and also inserted all my API tokens. So let's test this out, let's publish this, and let's see how this works. So if we're going to preview, what is your question? I need help building a chatbot. And let's see if it's also coming in on the phone. So as you can see, Mark Fandomate chatbot with my icon, I need help building a chatbot, right? But it's a little bit unclear as to who asked the question and how to uh, respond. So let's customize this flow a little bit and let's customize the push notification. So the way to do this is actually to, uh, let's get back to do an additional step here. So let's 
uh, well, actually we can also do it inside of this push notification. So let's do an extra step set custom field and set the custom field, for example, question. Set the text to a regular admin notification. So we can say something like full name, just ask the following question. And then we can fill in the response custom field because I saved the question there from the user input and then reply back ASAP using this link. And for the link, we actually have a pretty cool uh, system variable. It's called Facebook live chat link. And this is the direct link to the subscribers live chat in the Facebook page inbox. So if we are doing this and press save, Let's move this up top and then customize this, uh, this request a little bit. So we actually need to go to the message and change this response custom field to the field we just set. So the question field. So let's do question and save it. There we go. And then we're going to publish this and let's give it another go. So we're going to preview this. What is your question? I need help building a chatbot. And let's see what kind of admin notification we now get through that push. So if we take a look at the uh, push notification, I just received it. Let's see what it contains. So you can all immediately see there is a change, right? So if we take a look, Mark Vendermey just asked the following question. I need help building a chatbot. And then we can press this link and it will directly go to the Facebook page inbox where you can, um, where you can interact with them. Um, for this link, it opens up the web browser to go to the business.facebook.com link. So not if you have the Facebook page man business manager, it will not go there. Uh, but you can directly interact here on this web browser. Um, if you have enough value from this push notification, so you know, okay, Mark Vendermaid needs help, you can also log in to your uh, business account. So if we take a look, uh, let me see where I have it. Uh, let's see the business suite. You can then go to your page inbox uh, because in the main section, I will be there uh, containing that message, as you can see. So that's that's also a possibility. Uh, if you enable live chat, you will end up in the main overview. And from here, you can manage that conversation as well. So it's a little bit depending on what you want. But this is how you can build a push notification directly from Silverbots using only an external request and using basically push over as your uh, push uh, push app and each client can give you uh, can create their own account they can give you their user key and you can also create a delivery group so if you have an admin multiple admins you want to uh, add and send that push notification to you can create a group you will get a token for that and that token can be used instead of the user token basically this will be removed and that will contain the group token and everyone inside that group will have received that push notification all at the same time so i hope this uh, video helps you understand how it works and you don't need any third-party platform to connect directly from uh, silverbots to pushover basically this is <laughs> the native integration just by using an external request and then just using the uh, request URL. So you're just building the URL. Um, for that, I'm using Postman, as you can see, uh, to build my URL. Every variable I add here is automatically added to um, the post request URL here. And you can just copy this URL. You can also uh, try to send the notification here to see if it works. And that does the job as well. And yeah, this is basically it. So if you have any more questions about push notifications with pushover, just let me know. It's 
again, it's a really, it, I think this will be the most cost-effective way to send push notifications to your own phone and that of clients. It's just a one-time purchase of $5 per device, uh, per platform, basically. So if you have more Android phones, you won't pay for additional Android because you already have it. You only have to install it on a new Android device. For example, if you have a Samsung tablet, it's built on Android. Just download Pushover on, onto that as well. And then log in with your account and it will send a push notification there as well. So hope, again, I hope this helps. And if you have any more questions, just let me know.